Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to display and manage your products in the featured collection section of your Shopify website. This customization works only with our themes, such as Design Themes, Buddha Theme, and our Shriram. You can find the links to download these themes in the description below. Let's start by opening the Shopify Store Customizer. I have already added the Featured Collection section, but if you haven't, you can scroll down and click on Add Section and then select Featured Collection. Now let's see how we can customize this section. The first two options are for adjusting the spacing on the left and right sides of the collection. You can turn them on or off as you like. Then you have the Heading option, where you can change the title of your collection. You can also choose the size of the heading from small, medium, or large. If you want, you can also add a subheading and a description for your collection. Next, you have the button label option, where you can change the text and the link of the button that appears below your heading. For example, I will change the text to shop now and the link to hashtag to make the button visible. You can also choose to use an outline button instead of a solid one if you have created one before. Next, you have the column alignment option, where you can choose to align your content either to the left or to the center. Next, you have the collection option, where you can select which collection you want to show in this section. You can click on change collection and pick any collection from your list. Here, you can also change the number of products and columns that you want to display on desktop devices. Next, you have the view button option at the bottom of the product. You can change the style of this button from link, outline, or solid. However, you cannot change the text and link for this button as you did for the main button. Next, you have the color scheme option, where you can choose from five preset colors based on our theme. If you want to change the colors manually, you need to do it in the backend editor. Next, you have the product card option, where you can customize how your products look in this section. You can change the image ratio of your products from adapt to image, portrait, or square. Adapt to image means that all the products will have the same height as the first one. You can also enable a second image hover option, which will show a different image when you hover over a product. However, for this option to work, you need to add a second image to your products. You can also enable a vendor text option, which will show the name of the vendor or brand of each product. A vendor is like a product brand name or any other text that you want to add. I will show you later how to add vendor text to your products. You can also enable a new tag option, which will show a new label on any product that has a new tag added to it. Now I will show you how to add a new tag and vendor text to your products. Go to the product that you want to edit. Under Product Organization, you will see Vendor and Tag options. You can type any text in the Vendor field and type tag underscore new in the Tags field. Now these texts will appear on your products when you enable those options. Next, you have the Section Padding option, where you can adjust the spacing on the top and bottom of this section. You can also add a custom class name in this field if you want. Next, you have the Swiper Slider option, which will turn this section into a slider with one row of products. You need to check this box to enable this option. You can then customize how many columns of products you want to show on different devices such as desktops, laptops, and mobiles. You can also enable a center slider option, which will make your products loop endlessly when you swipe them. You can also enable a swiper pagination option, which will show dots under your products to indicate which slide is active. You can also enable a swiper navigation option, which will show arrows on both sides of your products to let you switch between slides. You can also set an autoplay value in seconds for how fast your products will move automatically. That's it for this video tutorial on how to showcase and manage your products in the featured collection section of your Shopify website. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Shopify tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.